Hey everyone, welcome back to the Long Dark Stalker Custom. Episode number 12. So here we are at uh, Pensive Pond. And the weather's not too bad. Yeah, 33 degrees. We're well fed. Um, we need to kind of... I'm a little worried about it getting foggy, but we need to kind of head over this way and see if we can't make it over to... Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to go straight ahead. I'm just going to go straight ahead because I want to make it over to the homestead, get established there, and then make a run to Signal Hill and then make a run over to the, uh, the Red Barn. So, you know what? I'm just going to grab these for giggles since they're right here. That wouldn't hurt. Alright, well, I hope you guys are having a lovely day and a good weekend after working the last week and a half or so down to like four officers for four shifts. Uh, we should be getting back to normal. One of the officers is back from the COVID quarantine and another one is, yeah, we can kick this here, another one is due to be back. Actually, he should be back. He should have been back yesterday, but I was off. So, you know what? I think... Let's head down here. I'm pretty sure if I take this... I'm pretty sure if I take this river, it will take me exactly where I want to go. So we're going to test it out. I should go under a bridge here. Not this wooden one, but an actual bridge. Not that one, but one over here. And then... We should be really close. We should start. We should see like a uh, silo. Oh no, this is a uh, waterfall. Okay, I gotta double back here. I'm up a little higher than I expected, I guess. I think Signal Hill is right over there. Let me check my weight. Eh, I'm kind of underweight. I could probably go for it. Let's just go for it. Let's see if we can find Signal Hill. It's a little. I'm not used to coming at it from this angle, so if I get a little bit turned around. Please forgive me. It shouldn't be that difficult, though. It's not, it's not the worst. But we do have a pistol and all that, so we're ready to go. I'm starting to get a little bit tired, so if we get to Signal Hill, we'll probably end up staying the night there. If not, we'll, we'll figure something out. We always do. Yeah, let's head up this way. I don't know. Maybe we'll run smack dab into something horrible. Terrifying. How are we doing on water? Yeah, we're okay for the night. Should be okay for just a little while. Not too long, but a little while. Yeah, basically if you're over here on this side of the map, if you keep going up, you'll eventually reach Signal Hill because it's going to be at the highest location over here. I think. That's what I'm betting my life on. Careful for wolves and all that sort of stuff. I think I, I kind I kind of want to go that way, but at the same time, I think I have a bit. Coming from that direction. All right, there we go. I think we're I'm trying to get my bearings here. I feel like oh, there's the rope. Oh, that's the rope to Signal Hill. Okay, I know exactly where we're at now. It's right up there. Yeah, we're good. Definitely coming in at a different angle here. That's for sure. Now I am on familiar familiar ground. I have seen a bear up here before, though. So we're going to be a little careful about that. Normally the, the bear is at the bottom of the rope, though. It hangs out down in that little valley down there. So yeah, some of you reminded me some of the best loot in the game or in Pleasant Valley is Signal Hill. And there's the radio tower. You can just see it at the very top of the hill. Signal Hill, Farm Homestead. 
And then the barn is okay. It's normally not, you know, grade A type gear, but it's definitely worth checking out. Might find some lantern fuel, like a big jerry can or something like that. Keep my pissed off just in case. Should be good, but you never know. Single Hill, we made it. That was a lot easier than I expected. I got a lot less lost than I expected to get. Okay. Take a quick look around here. Temperature's still doing good for the most part. We're a little bit cold, but not bad. Not too shabby. Got some wood there if we need it. I'm going to leave it right there. Okay. Let's head on inside, see what we can find. Normally there's some good clothes in here. Probably some ammo too. So, good thing we brought ourselves, I already see some ammo down there in the corner. Now, I don't know, it looks a little dark on my screen, so I am gonna go ahead and light this up for you guys, because you guys were asking about for me to do this in the last episode. Just to make it a little easier for y'all. There we go, plus it'll probably help me avoid missing things like that. Decent work. We'll take that. We'll get it all organized. I'm just going to pick up pretty much everything and then figure it out here in a minute. So, there's some free leather. Oh, some quality tools. I think that's the first quality tools we've seen. I think we've had nothing but simple tools up until now. So, okay. So, speakers. I feel like I'm supposed to be grabbing these and throwing them out here, getting ready to pawn them at the pawn shop after playing Thief Simulator. Herbal tea, some tomato soup. This has been here a while. Yeah, 17%. Not not the best, but we can heat it up. Those are edible. We can definitely do that. Uh, there's something up here. What is this? A revolver. Another one. We'll take it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything and then kind of stage it all. Probably at the, uh, the cave leading to Coastal Highway for the return visit. And then we'll head on over to Timberwolf and to Summit. And, uh... That way we're not carrying a bunch of stuff up the mountain just to grab more stuff and then have to, you know, figure out how to get back with it. So that's what I'll do. Plus, if I need to leave something behind, it'll be somewhere pretty easy to access. The transition area is pretty easy, so I'll take a look here and see what I can find. If I have anything left behind underneath here, I'm not seeing anything. Metal chair, no, nothing back there. Not really see anything there. A speeding ticket, looks like. She's smacking her lips. A little bit of wood if we need it. A candy bar. Another rifle round. That's good. Got some beef jerky up here. Alright. Some more metal. Oh, box of revolver ammo. Now we are... Oh, box of rifle ammo. That's why you check those little hidey holes. Sneaky ammo. I'll be drinking that first for Wes. You want to remember to do it the right way. Alright, let's put that back. Alright. Nothing back there. So yeah, pretty good. Some lantern fuel, some accelerant. Cassette tape. Um, I'm thinking as tired as we are, we kind of just hang out here. Oh, what's this up here? Yeah, Rifle ammo. You guys thought I was going to miss it, didn't you? You're already starting to type it in the comments. So well, that's pretty good. All right. Yeah, so our pack's starting to get a little heavy. We won't, be able to, we won't be able to take the rope down, but that's okay. We'll just walk around. It's really one of the shortest ways to bypass the rope. I think of all the ropes that, that they have in the game. So we're a little... A little overweight. Not much, though. We can probably drop something. Uh, we can probably find something worth dropping. Honestly, yeah, I'll take the revolver just because it's nice to have an extra one. We're going to probably have enough of revolver, so we really, in this playthrough, we probably won't need to repair it. We have so much ammo, I don't even know if we'll need to go make ammo, but 
Uh, if we do, we can we can definitely do that at Bleak Inlet. So I want to eat this first since we're about ready to sleep. If we get food poison, no big deal. We'll just sleep it off. So let's do the drink first. There we go, Wes. That one's for you, buddy. Drink that. Get rid of that weight. Drink this one. Get rid of this weight. There we go. All right, that worked out pretty good. And we can heat this up. So we'll, we'll save that. We can change the condition at once we once we get cooking level five. Um, do we see anything else? Yeah, let's eat this candy bar. Again, I'm just trying to top off since weight's an issue right now. And food is not an issue. There we go. We didn't even eat all those crackers. We just were to totally full at this point. There we go. All right. So let's holster that storm lantern and uh, let, we still got some time left. So let's um, let's read. Maybe I can get rid of that book. That'll lighten us up a little bit too. Uh, it's this one, isn't it? Guns, guns, guns. Let's just do one at a time. One hour at a time. I'm getting tired. I think we'll get one more in. Oh, we're one hour away. I'll probably just... Yeah, she's getting tired. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, she got it. I'll probably just read that last hour before we leave here, and we'll leave this up here for the next hapless wanderer and survivor that comes upon Signal Hill. Okay, totally dark here. I'm not going to light it up just because I'm, I'm all I'm doing is going to bed. So let's do that. Make sure we're good. All of our, you know, I'm going to get a drink here just to be extra safe. And we'll just sleep for 12 and we should be good. Yeah. Hopefully we don't wake up to a raging storm, but if we do, we'll deal with it. We'll be all right. We got a barrel out there and that barrel cannot be blown out. So that's, that's a good thing. Even though it's up. Oh, I wish I had known that. I would have I would have looked at the computer screen because we have a computer screen here, but I can't interrupt my sleep at, at this level. So, unfortunately. Okay. Well, there it is. All right, guys. Um, yeah, we need an old toaster for Black Bay, don't we? It's a, another Thief Simulator reference. Let's take a peek outside, see what it looks like. Hopefully it's good. It doesn't look bad. It's nice cold, but overall not too bad. So let's just, um, <laughs> let's just, uh, that was kind of loud. Let's read that last hour of that book, get rid of it. Yeah, we're going to be underweight anyway. I really don't even need to get rid of the book. I'll, I'll just take it down to the farm homestead, leave it there. In case we need it to start a fire in the huge stove. So let's read one hour here. Maybe it'll get a little bit warmer. It was 9 degrees for the feels like temperature. So we'll see. Ooh, rifle firearm leveled up. No surprise there. That was a big book. So yeah, 16 degrees. It did warm up pretty significantly. Luckily a storm didn't move in on us. Now I can go down the... Uh, I'll show you guys here real quick. For the uninitiated... We can go down the rope now if we want to. So right there is where we're going, where the silo is. That's the farm homestead. Over there, right in the middle, just at the top of those trees, you'll see like a little box there in between a couple of those trees. Just below that long rock that kind of lays out above the forest. That's that's the uh, red barn. And then over that way is a community uh, town center sort of thing. So that's where we're going to go now. I'm checking here, see if we have any beasties on the ground. I'm not seeing anything. Don't want to get too far to the edge. Sometimes you can get down there and then not be able to get back up, so I don't know. I'm not really seeing anything at this point, but let's get moving. Hey, can, I, can I go this way? I think I can. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Okay. Sort of came in a different route, but sorry. Right. Before we go down this rope, we're going to definitely want to make sure uh, the coast is clear. Luckily for us, going down the rope doesn't take as much stamina as going up it. 
doesn't worry out quite as much. She definitely sounds like a freaking freight train coming through this forest, doesn't she? Pretty loud with her loadout. She needs to secure that stuff a little better. Hey guys, leave it in the comments. I'm thinking about upgrading my monitor from 2K to 4K. I got the 2K because it had a really high refresh rate, and I was playing a lot of PUBG back then. But I don't really play a lot of first-person shooters now at the, at the moment. Um, nothing's really grabbed my attention. Plus, I've been really busy playing games for the channel. Okay, let's just be very careful here. I don't hear the crows. Ooh. I did hear the crows there. You hear those? That makes me think the bear might be down here somewhere. We're just going to have to be extra careful. Just make sure he's not below us. Okay. Oh, there he is. There he is. Right there. He just came out from the trees. You see that? Right side of the screen. Midway up. I knew I heard those. Those warning crows sound different than the ones that's chir sort of chirping around in circles. They have more of an alarming sound to them. So we're going to let him get a little, little ways away before we come down the rope. And then we'll head on down. Luckily for us, he probably scared away any wolves in the area, or they probably didn't even spawn in. But uh, we'll hang out here for half a second, let him get a little ways away from us. We should be good now. I don't think he's going to bother with us at this point. If he is, I'll show you guys how much stamina it takes to climb back up this rope. Too sweet. So I'm thinking about getting a 4K monitor. About pretty much the highest refresh rate I can. It's been a, it's been a couple years since I've shopped for a monitor, so I'm sure that the refresh rates are higher for 4K now than they were. So I haven't even looked. But would you guys be interested in that? Are you guys watching on a lot of 4K devices, TVs, things like that? Or do you guys not really even watch it in anything? Oh, here's this cave, by the way. See the bones? So typically there's nothing in here. I've never found any loot inside the bear cave. So... Anyway, just let me know. Would you guys be interested in that? I definitely have the horsepower when it comes to the graphics card to to produce it. It's just I need to know if it's going to be worth the investment, you know? Maybe I'll ask Santa for it. I don't know. We'll see. I've been, I've been a good boy this year, right? I think so. Pretty good. Oh, I forgot about this little outbuilding here. Yeah. This is a new one that they added with the uh, story mode, which coincidentally should be coming out here in a couple few weeks. December sometime, I believe. Chapter 4. So what happens is we will stop doing this series briefly, or maybe I'll keep doing it, but the primary focus immediately goes from the channel as soon as it's released straight to story mode. And I'll be releasing those like back to back to back. Everything else sort of stops, story mode takes over, and we get back to right where we were. Um, if you want to get caught up with story mode, check the description. Oh, I thought those were just really small wolves with really long ears, I guess. But um, if you guys are interested in catching up with story mode or you haven't seen it at all, you know, check the description in, in this video, or any video for that matter, recent video. And you should see a link to the, to the playlist for that, and you can go back and watch them. Uh, get get all caught up and then you'll be ready to watch watch it when I play chapter four you won't be you know caught out so it's just it's just wood here that's it let's ch let's check up here I think there's a way to get up here isn't there are we not allowed up there now oh wait here's a board there we go gotta get low all right there we go up here what's the temp in here 49 degrees it's not bad this uh, homestead is one of my favorite places to hunt bear because you can typically hunt right from your porch. Sometimes you can drop the bear right at your right at your porch. It makes it so nice. But can't nope, I can't stand up, but not for very long. Okay, let's let's duck back down. That that wasn't working. I don't think I'm gonna try dropping through there. It'll probably break an ankle or something, so I'll try to just 
drop off this side. Not much up here, man. Not much. I mean, lots of great tinder. Be nice if you could grab like clumps of hay. Um, you know, but there's a little bit of wood right here. I'm not really seeing anything else. I, I, maybe there's uh, some little hidey place. Oh, there's a backpack here. This will come in handy. Okay, some matches. Fair enough. Anything under here? Maybe there's. I, I saw these tires. I'm like, oh, I could probably use that for a raft base. I'm, I'm getting my games all. They're all. <laughs> they're all mixing together in my head. So. I'm not seeing anything, guys. This looks like to be about it. Okay, well, it was worth the luck. Got some matches. Island gardens for island people. Gl grow local. All right. I think that's about the only choice we have nowadays. I don't think we're going to get anything shipped in anytime soon. Oh, it's so beautiful outside. It's, it's a little chilly, but man, it is beautiful. Oh, let's check the tractor. Tractors are always decent for sodas. I wish we could get a tractor going. Oh, sounds like the wind's starting to whip around out there. Is that true? Mm, a little bit. This also has an outdoor burn barrel. And if you set up a um, snow shelter near it, you can actually cook from your snow shelter into your burn barrel and never have to get out of your snow shelter. And it'll keep your snow shelter warm. And it's just a really good way to avoid, if you're, on, if you're trying to play this stay on this map as your home base or this this place as your home base it's a good way to avoid uh, cabin fever just to go outside and hang out in your shelter so your shelter takes a few few cloth like 10 cloth and 15 sticks or vice versa or something like that it's about right it's been a while since i built one and then you build it and then you just sort of maintain it with sticks which are readily available so it's not a big deal and uh, you can always go to that if you need to. Wonder what's uh, causing the crows to call over there. See, there's a difference. It didn't make that alarming sound. They're sort of like doing their normal song, whatever that is. Yeah, we got ourselves a granola bar. It looks like. Okay, some granola bar. One of these days, an Uzi is going to drop out of there, and I'll be like, this is the coolest thing ever. And then I'll be like, I need to find Uzi ammo. What can I say? It's a random. Very random. There's going to be some good loot in here. We're going to find something worthwhile. And we need to check... Uh, our, no, the targets are behind the red barn, aren't they? The archery targets is what I'm thinking of. Can't go into the uh, silo. That door will not open. Yeah, we got ourselves some spray paint. Damn taggers. Where's where are these called? Where are they called? Oh, right here. Uh, let's get ourselves some feathers, maybe. We got any feathers dropped? No feathers dropped. What's our temp? Eleven. I'm not going to bother with this right now. It feels a little too windy for a decent fire, so I'm going to leave it. Might come out a little bit later. Start a uh, magnifying glass fire and uh, cook some water while we carve that thing up. Because we do need some water, eventually. This is the little fire barrel I was talking about. Right here. Those chains on these. They always make, make it sound like... I don't know, the wolves don't ever make rattling chain noises, but I always just associate rattling chains with uh, dog collars. It sounds like a dog collar rattling. So it always freaks me out. Here's the cellar. Here, see what we can find first. Now this is a new addition. They didn't used it. You ne never used to be able to access the house from here, but now you can. So since the last episode, another quality tools. Bunch of pipes. Hey, I need that for uh, among trees. See, I need steel pipe. Oh, that would be a good spot, right over there. Mm -hmm. I gotta keep looking up better, like you guys said. I'm trying, folks. I am trying. Is 
So somebody asked in the comments, what does Accurize mean? What does, what does your name mean? Well, basically it's the what dictionary definition. Stuff? It's, uh, you know, always trying to improve, always trying to do better, trying to become more accurate, more concise. And, uh, that's why I, did, that's why I chose that. And then why, why the number two afterwards? Well, a couple reasons. One, Accurize, when I first started the channel back in 2012, was already taken by basically somebody not posting anything. They were just sitting on the name. Since then, it's become available, but... This stuff will come in handy. Uh, combat boots. Yeah, okay. I'll... You know what? I'll take those, too. Let's take these. Again, just to break it up for leather. So, I had to... I still wanted the, the name, so I wanted to put something after it, so I just chose two. Uh, be, probably mainly because it was my ice hockey number when I played high school hockey. I'm not sure I can carry much more. And before you ask, left wing. We were sort of a traveling team. We traveled all over. Indianapolis, Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky, Detroit, Sarnia, Canada, for the Silver Sticks tournament. Um, yeah. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Oh, Columbus, Ohio. The chiller there. I'll take it. Take that and make use of that, of that. Hopefully find something good here. I'm still waiting for some... I need a Mackinac shirt. Another one to make up for the one I left behind. So... I haven't got that lucky yet. The game's probably like, you don't deserve another one after what I saw you do to that one. Probably not going to get another one. Alright, we have discovered the farmhouse. Another book. Oh, that's just a regular book. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Another one I gotta carry around. I'm like the bookmobile over here, carrying all these books around. More revolver ammo. Man, they are just throwing revolver ammo at you in stalker mode, it seems like. Even with low resources selected. Uh, here's another rifle round. Some ketchup chips to make all you guys' mouths water. Oh, maple syrup. There you go. We'll chug some maple syrup later. A tin of coffee. Some moose kick coffee. What a great name for coffee. Okay. Oh, I thought it was a Mackinac again. Now it's just trolling me. The game is trolling me hard with those. It's, it's trolling me hard with plaid. All right. Let's check this out here. We got an actual cup of coffee here. Who would actually drink that? Honestly, it's been sitting there how long? Ugh, that'd be so gross. I couldn't do it. Sounds like we got some weather set in it, though. But I love this house. This is such a good house. And it has, like, the best stove. I mean, they have one in uh, Bad Mama Juju's house there in Milton. She's got a, a six-burner stove. But they're not, they're not everywhere, man. If you can find enough pots... It's worth it. Okay, we got some wood there. Another. I mean, we're going to be able to be cooking. We should just be reading cooking books right now, I think. At this point, we might be able to level up to like three or four just based on reading alone. I, uh, it seems like it. Okay, let me get back to more of a better search pattern here. I'm kind of all over the place. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, I know about two-thirds of you haven't, according to my stats. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. It helps out a lot. Really makes me smile <laughs> and uh, motivates me to keep going. Um, if you don't, that's fine too. Just leave a like and let's see here. Um, this is just a recipe. So there you go. It looks like it's for uh, for bread. So there you go. You can make some bread. I'm going to leave that behind though. All right. Make sure they don't have any creative places they've started stashing stuff that I've never looked before. That's the world's biggest toaster. That's for some Texas-style toast right there. Oh, I see some maple syrup up here, too. Some more maple syrup. <laughs> Eating on the go. 
Oh, we're gonna get some toilet toilet water out of the out of the tank here. Some clean water out of the tank. What is this over here? What is it? Oh, socks. Okay, the drawer when it shut gave it away. I was gonna have a little competition, too heavy to carry. but do we have two pairs of wool socks? I'm not sure. We're gonna have to double check. Let's check that right now, lest I forget. And we do have two. That's new, and that's let's see which one's better. Probably. Ooh, what I picked up was actually better. Okay, these are crap now. They're dead to me. So, all right, uh, we got curtains. We can do some sewing. Sounds nasty outside. That goes to the. F Which one goes out to the patio? I think this one does, doesn't it? We still got the upstairs to search too. So, but there is a little patio out here with a box that we can look at, and sometimes there's stuff sitting next to the box. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, I chose the wrong door. How long have I been playing this? I know. Oh my gosh. I'm batting a thousand here, aren't I? Did I? Did they? Okay. Is it really this one? It doesn't feel like it's the right side of the house, but apparently it is. Yeah, it sure is. Gosh, I'm so disoriented. Here we go. This is the. Hope nobody knows oh, this anymore. God, I don't even want to take it, but I will. So this is where you can hunt from. Sometimes there's a bear that wanders really close here, like right near these hay, hay bales and all that, and you can basically stay, stand out here and kind of kite him in, and then just take it, sort of like just take a shot from here. And if he comes at you, you're just like, okay, I'll just I'll just go like this. There you go. Oh, okay, bear. There you go. Then you can, you know. Open the door, take another shot at him. And uh, it's wide open out here, so even if you don't kill him and drop him the first time, um, it's typically not too hard to find. And you can always go to high ground, maybe Signal Hill, and look around that way. So it's really starting to get nasty out here, though. Let me get away from the... It's not as bad as I expected. Feels like 30? Really? The wind chill is negative 26. So, apart from the wind chill, it, it's really not a bad day. What else is there? Right? It's always the wind chill that gets you. Alright, let me check under here just to make sure. I think I got everything down here. Let's head on upstairs. We're already halfway through this day. I might offload here and then just go to the, to the barn and I don't know, the wind's kind of in my face. It might not be great if I have to dodge. I'm gonna drop a lot of stuff, don't worry. I'm at 100 pounds, just, she can, yeah, she can't even run. Uh, I should probably do that right now, just go down and, let's do that real quick. You know what, let's search this one. Otherwise, I'll forget to search that drawer or something like that. It's a good way to get comments though. Miss things. Often. I don't do it intentionally, guys. I'm joking. But get a lot of people, like four or five people. Hey, you missed this. Hey, you missed this. I do appreciate it though, because a lot of times I do go back and I'll uh you know, if it's not too far away at that point, um, I will go back and try to get whatever it is. As long as it's worth getting after you're like hey you you forgot to search a plastic container halfway across the map i'll be like oh uh, yeah probably nothing in there so i'm not gonna bother with it that's right i already checked that one let's clear this little common area here and then we'll uh head back downstairs offload a lot of this stuff because she's about to have a heart attack it sounds like I'm trying to figure out what this is i could eat a horse Desolation Point, maybe? I don't recognize that boat. That's the red farmhouse we're going to be going to. So that's accurate. Alright, let's... I like to use this one for my storage. So we're just going to go through here and put things we don't need in here. We don't need this anymore, ever. So, that's gone. I will put that in there. That in there. And that one. Uh... I'll need seven. 
maybe five. I think it's probably maybe one of the worst fires I've ever had is maybe not getting it five times in a row. Uh, don't need this because I have the old man beard. Wound dressing, it's the same thing. It's just way heavier. So you get more uses out of this, but three's fine there. I'd rather ca carry that wound dressing. Okay, this is where we're going to offload a lot of stuff. So we got these combat boots. Those are heavy, man. We got these new deer skin boots. We don't we don't want those. Uh, they're nice for armor, but not for warmth and windproof. Well, I don't know. They're probably pretty windproof, but not for warmth. Let me check those gloves. I don't think they're as good as what we had. 56%. Yeah, not as good. That, look at that. That already dropped us down like tw almost 30 pounds of clothing we were just carrying around there. I mean, I guess there were some other... That they, we had some other things in there, but... Wait, no, no, no. That was all clothing. Wait, no. That was cabinet. That's everything in the cabinet, right? Hold on. Yeah, that's everything in the cabinet. So, but close. Probably more like 25 pounds. Okay, we don't need to carry all this. This is dangerous to, <laughs> to eat. We could eat it before bedtime. That would be okay. No big deal. So we'll save that for bedtime. It might be gone by the time we come back, honestly. I should probably just drop it on the floor. Uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff here. I'll just grab what I need. I'll just put everything in there, basically. And just grab what I want. I'm going to keep that with me. Keep that one with me. Peaches, that's fine. Alright, that's pretty good there. It's plenty. We're going to find more at the barn anyway. Uh, can openers. Let's just... That one. One flare is fine. I'll probably use those to fill up. I really don't need quality tools right now. Don't need the revolver. I already have a awesome revolver. Somebody was worried in the comments that I didn't pick up the shell when I shot through the fence at the Carter Hydro Dam. Uh, it's because I didn't reload. So it's still in that cylinder. Don't worry about that. I could reload right now and I'll pick it up for you just to put your mind at ease. Don't need the whetstone. Crow feather. Transfer all those. We'll put that on the floor. Rushing mushrooms. Transfer. Transfer. We're back down to fighting weight. That's good. So, let's go ahead and reload this. There's that one. You heard it drop, right? So it should be down here. Right there. So let me holster this before I shoot my toe off. This will come in handy. So, there we go. We picked it up now. And that should make you rest it a little easier. Now I need to put this, I'm going to put it over here, the birch stick here. I'm going to drop this, and then I'm just going to put it here. That way I don't miss it. It should be pretty obvious to me, and hopefully I don't miss that. There's a chance. I'm not saying that there's definitely a chance. You never know with me. How we doing on food? We probably could use, we could eat something. Um, yeah, let's see what the weather's like. If it's super windy in our face and we can't move forward with any speed. We'll just hang out here and read. Uh, honestly, it doesn't look too bad. I'm, I'm kind of thinking we just read though. Yeah, let's just read here tonight, and we'll eat some of the sketchier stuff a little bit later when we get close to being hungry, just before bedtime. So we'll eat the good stuff right now, so we don't get sick. Because if you get sick, then you can't read. And there we go. So I don't, I've never heard of getting food poisoned by beef jerky. So I'm going to go for it. I've never had a, had it happen. You never know. I could use a drink. Okay. I thought she was about to say, Oh, I feel sick. But, uh, when I saw her dialogue start up, I was like, Oh no, this is, they've, they've changed it in the last update. All right. We're going to go ahead and just chug some, <laughs> chug some great a maple syrup. And let's go ahead and eat these too. That's another way for me to get a lot of people, get a lot of comments. It's just like let her starve. People get freaked out about that. Okay, are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. 
So now that we have a decent amount of calories on board, we're in pretty good shape. I'm just going to read until it's nighttime and then we'll get a good night's sleep, head on over to the red barn and go from there. So let's see if we can, I got to grab a good book out of here. Let me go to my library here. Nope, not that one. I want the cooking book. All right, so we got our wilderness cooking book. Um, let's stand out on, yeah, let's stand out here if it's gonna be warm enough. I, th I, I think, oh yeah, so that's good. We can stand out here. I don't, this should count as outdoors so we don't get penalized for being in like cabin fever. It doesn't contribute towards cabin fever. So, read this book. And I don't know if it matters or not. I'm going to put my maple syrup right here. I don't think it'll go bad slower, but I'm going to put it right there. It might. I, I think meat uh, condition drops slower if it's in the cold versus like on my person or inside the house or something like that. So let's see here. Read our book. Where's our book at? Here we go. Yeah, 10 points. That's going to be very helpful. So let's go ahead and do two hours. We know we're going to be fine for two hours. Oh, yeah. Storm moved in. Take a look here. See how bad it looks. Yep, it's a pretty nasty one. Boy, it looks like it would suck to be out in that, doesn't it, folks? Oh, my gosh. It's so nice just sitting here reading a nice book. It feels like 54 degrees for us. Survival doesn't get any better than this. She's not complaining about being hungry. My viewers aren't complaining about her being hungry. All right, one more. We'll be done with that book. All right, just in time for night nightfall. So we're just going to drop that book here. Don't need it anymore. All right. Yeah, that's that's not good out there. What, what, I'm just curious. I just want to test and see what it feels like. Negative 21 degrees. That That's negative 20, 21 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't care if it's Fahrenheit or Celsius. That's cold. Either way. All right. So I am going to light this up for you guys. And you know what we can do? We could also fill up our lantern. And I want to do it while, we're, while it's lit to be extra dangerous. You can't. You can't catch yourself on fire. Be cool if you could, but you can't. Wait, where's the lantern fuel at? Did I keep that? Yeah, I did. It's right here. Okay. So, let's go into our lantern. Where's that? Survival pro. No? Tools. Yeah. Here. Actions. Refuel. Yeah. Don't spill. Alright, there we go. So, how'd that do? We used up two... Zero... I think we're at, why am I carrying around zero if it's <laughs> that's a lot of weight for zero let's go and drop that that probably don't need that ever again can I reach up there and put it up there no apparently not okay so let's continue to loot loot here backpack what is this we got up here it's a oh it's a ski jacket Use this. Eh, I'm gonna have to look at that see how that compares it's probably going to be pretty darn good. Might be better than our simple parka. I'll have to check. I don't have all the stats memorized, folks. I apologize. I don't even have them ranked in my head. Alright, I think we got everything in this room. Yeah, look up high. Steal some paintings. That TV, eh, Sir Sergey is not going to take that TV. So we're going to leave that one by. If you guys want to know what I'm talking about, go watch the uh, Thief Simulator series. It's, we're having a blast in that series. That is so much fun. Among Trees is awesome. Actually, all the series I have going right now. Stranded Deep. It's good. Really good. And, uh... Uh, Teardown. Having a lot of fun with Teardown also. So we'll do, go ahead and take this one as well. 
Yeah, we're doing good on the water. In here. I thought that was a bullet there for a second, but it's not. Alright. Already checked that one. 99% sure that I did. This is my favorite bed right here. It's like a 10 degree bed. You get like a 10 degree warmth bonus in that bed. It's like 65 in here. There's got to be something good in here. It's got to be. My, oh, no, don't do that. Lucky to have my pistol out. I would have fired off a shot right there. I missed the drawer. I was pointed at the open drawer rather than the closed drawer. No, really? Sucky loot for the master bedroom? Wait, what's... Oh, ho, 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 ho. how do I get to that? How do I get to that? Ah, uh, yeah, baby. <laughs> all right. I take it all back. Sorry, house. All right, folks. Well, and on that note, I think it's time to get some good sleep. So we're doing good. We're getting educated. Find some good gear. I do want to check out the ski jacket here real quick, though. So I'll check it out with you guys. 1.9. What is that? 53% versus 2.9 at 82%. It's lighter than a parka. See, that one's even better than a parka, though. And it's more waterproof. So the question is, if I if I heal this up, will it be better? I don't know. I'm going to wait and see what you guys say in the comments. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll play, the, play another uh, episode of this back to back. But let me know in the comments what you think. Should I, should I do the ski jacket? Simple. I think the simple park is going to be better. Point nine. I don't know. Maybe not. You know what? I wonder if we can sew right now. Repair. Two cloth. Let's go find some cloth. I'm curious. I just want to do it now. Put that away. There we go. Here's one thing I want to make sure I do. I don't want to leave this on while I'm tearing up cloth or curtains because that'll be 10 minutes of burn time on this because it advances time. So I want to make sure I turn that off. Or 15 minutes. So that would really drain a lot of fuel if I left it on that whole time. So. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to look at the bed. We know where we're at. Right, let's try repairing this. Oh, son of a gun. Can't do it in the dark. We'll wait till morning. Alright, let's get ourselves something to drink. We have plenty of water. No concerns about that. Plenty of calories. Let's stow that so we're not jingling around like crazy. And yeah, let's get some sleep. Hey. All you have to do is ask, Astrid. All you have to do is ask. There you go. Enjoy your beauty sleep. Okay, woke up fully rested 12 hours later. The storm's over, it's super quiet outside. I like it, I like it. I don't have, feel like I have to yell at you guys. Okay, so let's try repairing this. Actually, let's go outside and do it, like I said. Trying to avoid, did I check the, I did check the, yeah, medicine shelf, that's right, okay. Wait, did I check the refrigerators? Surrounded by snow. Oh, come on. You got plenty to drink. Yes, I did. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and do the repair on this now. Hopefully. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. 83. That's really close to what this one was. So we can do a apples to apples comparison. It's lighter. And it doesn't encumber you as much when you run. The armor and the waterproof is the same. I'm just... I'm going to go with... Yeah, I'm going to go with the... Ski jacket. It won't let me wear it from here, will it? Okay. Alright, that's uh, 30%. That's 40%. We want this as an under... under undergarment there we go great 
Let's get herself something to drink here. Otherwise, she'll start yelling at me again. All right, all right. So, I think we're going to end this episode here. Let's take a look and see what the weather's like out here. Look both ways for bears, especially out that door. Feels like 12 degrees. Sun's coming up. It's going to be a beautiful day. There's also a plane crash over here, guys, that we're going to have to check out. Should be a lot of, uh, uh, you know, pre-prepared. Is that redundant? Prepared foods. You know, like airline dinners. Microwave dinners. That sort of thing. At the crash site. Now, if they're all poisonous, I have no idea. I meant to drink the uh, maple syrup before I went to bed last night, but I forgot, so... It is what it is. We're going to be okay, though. And uh, what else did I have? I wanted to try. Yeah, we're just going to drop this here for now. And we'll find more stuff on our on our trip. I might grab a few snackies just to fill up here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we'll take some dog food. Some things that probably won't kill us. That's pretty good. And we'll fill our bellies. We'll be ready to go. All right, guys. So I think we'll end it here. If you have hit this and you've already binged this whole series and you're looking to binge some more, by all means, check the uh, description below. There's going to be a bunch of uh, TLD series and playlists and other games that I've played. And I'm sure that could keep you tied over till next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. You all take care.